but the storm is now passed, headed towards North Carolina and Riceville Beach. Meteorologist Mike Seidel is there. Mike. Hey, Mike, we're taking a pretty good squall right now. I think this is about what's left of what was the outer eye wall. It kind of, it's kind of stretched up and down the coast from around Myrtle Beach up here to Wrightsville and through the uh, Carolina Beach area inland where they've had some heavy rainfalls. Some spots in North Carolina now upwards of 10 inches of rain, and you cannot see more than about a block. It is raining so hard. The beach underwater, typically high tide, 60 to 70 yards out, but the high tide has uh, certainly defied where it should be because of the wind blowing on shore. That'll change this evening with the wind blowing off shore. I want to show you the Atlantic and also some of the damage as we uh, point the, the camera off to the north. And you'll see what I'm talking about as far as some of the shingles off some of those roofs. And while we're showing you that, I'm going to just give you an idea of how tough it is. Now, we, we talk about the wind speed, and that's certainly not that's measured in an open area at a few meters above the ground. But when you get over here around these buildings, boy, it just really starts to howl. So what I've done is I've walked away from the camera out here, and you get a sense, you get a sense of how windy it is because of the wind. around the building. This is not the true wind. I don't, want, I don't want you to think it is, but this is what you deal with when you consider how strong the wind is and wind damage. You got to deal with this kind of funneling and tiling effect because this is actually hitting buildings and houses and roofs. And it just, it just really knocks you down. I can hardly stand up, but just to give you an idea of how strong the wind is when you get some of these buildings. Out here, though, you get back out here. Don't get me wrong. We're still gusting here 50 to 60 miles an hour and taking a pretty good mouthful of rainfall here at Wrightsville Beach. Mike, that is just an illustration for you this afternoon. You've been in the same kind of situation where you get channeled and you get knocked over. Fortunately, uh, I didn't get knocked over. Boy, this, this rain is stinging. It feels more like a, an Amarillo sleep storm to me right now. But it is just howling out here and pouring here at Riceville. And again, got a few more hours of this, and then the wind will go offshore and the heavy rain will move out of here. Mike Bettis? Well, it sounds painful, Mike. Let me just put it that way. I can't see you, but I can hear you, and I've been there, my friend. I, I know exactly what that feels like. Hey, let's talk a little bit more serious weather right now. Talk about the tornado threat. Dr. Forbes joining us.